it is day 23 of the Cake and It Special Advent Calendar. Tomorrow is the last one. So today I've made a favourite, which is Cindy Lou Who. So here we go. I'm starting with her legs, rolling out a cord and then pulling in where the knee would be. Then I can cut it to size. She's going to be sitting, so I'm going to go ahead and place her on a cake dummy. I also add a small piece of modelling paste for the top of her legs. And then I add a lollipop stick in there to help support the body later on. Now I can start with her skirt. I roll out some white fondant, really nice and thin. And I'm going to cut out some circles. And then I'm going to cut out a smaller circle within them. Then using a balling tool and a petal pad, I'm going to ruffle the edges. The reason I've cut out the centre is because I wanted the ruffles around the edge, but I didn't want the height of the skirt. So I do three rings and then one complete circle. I'm just sticking them in place with a little bit of water. Her shoes are almost like slippers. They're big and fuzzy, so I just make the shape and scratch them with a modeling tool. Keeping her body basic, smaller at the waist and wider at the shoulders, and then thread that onto her body. Cindy Lou has a stripy pattern on her dress, so I make some red paint with rainbow dust and dipping solution, and I paint thin lines going down the dress. Then I make some green paint and paint lines going across the dress. I add a little round collar and add some paint to the edge of that as well. Onto her coat, I roll out some red fondant and I'm going to wrap it around her. Just sticking it in place with water and then I can make a clean cut to make the shape of her coat. I'm making her arms really basic because we're not going to really see them. And I'm also going to give her some pink mittens. Then when I've placed her arms on, I add two red pieces of fondant over them for her sleeves. I do also scratch the pink fondant to make her gloves look fluffy.
I give her a little neck and then I can move on to her head. When I was doing the features on her face, there were a couple of things I needed to make sure she has. So like the tiny Whoville nose, and also make sure that she has the Whoville teeth. I had to do my best to get them in. Also when painting her face, I wanted to give her a little bit of makeup, but I had to remember that she's also a little girl, so it had to be quite minimal. Also in Whoville, they have crazy long eyelashes. Her hair, wow. I started with a cap on the back of her head and I score in the hairlines. She also has a big fringe. And of course she has the big cone on top of her head and then the braids sticking out the sides in a loop. It's quite hard because you need to make sure that the braids are on quite firm, but you don't want to push so hard that you're going to remove any detail that you've already scored in. Now I can take some tiny teardrop shapes and curl them to add at the ends of the braids and right at the top of that cone. And for the final touch, I add the little teacup hat that she wears with the tiny little candy cane. And there she is. I do love her. So that's it for day 23. Tomorrow is the last one, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And also go back and have a look at the 22 that I've also uploaded this month. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks guys, bye.